high people. What's the most traumatic death on TV that you were still trying to recover from? In recent years, we have been constantly hearing the term parasocial relationships as if it's a new phenomenon. These days, the term is used to explain the relationship we form with the social media influencers that we are a fan of. Don't get us wrong, this is the perfect term to define this unique relationship in which we feel like we have a personal connection to these people even though they have no idea who we are. Still, despite the accuracy of the term, we have to acknowledge that parasocial relationships aren't new by any means. Instead, since the invention of the camera and the emergence of the cinema, we have been experiencing this relationship form in which we form a bond with a celebrity and think that we know and love them, although we never had a real talk with them. Now, this relationship is fine as long as it's kept under control. However, it has some negative aspects as it might cause us to put too much value into something that doesn't exist. So, for instance, when we're watching a TV show since our minds trick us into thinking as if those scenes are real, any tragedy in the series breaks our hearts immediately. Especially if it's a series that we have invested in for years, then the death of a character gets personal for us, creating an illusion as if someone we truly know has died. Think of Ned Stark in Game of Thrones or Matthew Crawley in Downton Abbey, and remember how brutal the death of these characters has made you feel. Well, even the one show that we trusted the most in terms of not breaking our hearts has caused us major pain over the past few years. Heartland. In season 14 of Heartland, we watched one of the main characters of the series, Ty Borden, getting killed off as if it was nothing. The move came from Graham Wardle, the actor who plays the part of Ty, as he decided to move on with his life. He was playing the part of Ty almost since his teenage years, which caused him the desire to explore other things in life. It turned out that he was wanting to have a spiritual podcast, which he did, and treat Heartland as a mere memory for the rest of his life. Even though Wardle left the Heartland behind so easily, it took a really long time for both the series and its fans to recover from this sudden change. There are only a couple of months left until Heartland Season 16. The interval between the seasons allows us to speculate on what to expect from the new season. Since season 14, the fans of the show try to figure out a way to make sure Ty is back on the series, even though his death eliminated that option completely. Still, there is the hope of flashbacks and even alternative timelines that might provide a basis for his return. That being said, when we leave our emotions behind and think logically, we realize that we will welcome a Heartland 16 without the presence of Ty, and we should get used to it. Although this is annoying to even think about, we believe this might be a great opportunity for Amy's character to excel as a single mother who is rather to explore her character and life more deeply. In that sense, we cannot wait for Heartland Season 16 to be released as soon as possible. You think Heartland is still worth watching despite the absence of Ty? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.